It's been a minute, y'all. <laughs> it's been a minute. What's going on, y'all? My name is Shleek from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel, where today we are taking a look at a debut sneaker. This is the Street Sport 107 series. So Street Sport is a new brand to the basketball performance market. They are based out of Chicago. The name behind the shoe 107 series comes from the founder of the company. He was a collegiate hooper. One day, a few years back, he was just doing a shooting workout and he actually knocked down 107 consecutive three-pointers in a row. Now, I'm no athlete. 107, man, that's a... Uh yeah, I'm not knocking down 107 of anything. Yeah, that's the inspiration behind the name of the shoe, why it's called the 107 series. Uh, these guys are actually available now. They're retailing for $120. If you like what you see, by the time this video ends, then we'll leave a link down in the description box below for you to check that out. Thank you to Street Sport. They actually sent the shoe out to me. I also want to note that I have been playing in the shoes, but this is not an actual performance review. The one spoiler that I will give is I am enjoying the shoe very much so far but as far as a general overview of the shoe goes we'll go ahead and get started with it and we are going to start off with traction there is a little bit of a diamond pattern in both the forefoot and the heel sections of the shoe that's basically going to provide you 360 degrees of coverage and then of course the herringbone itself is going to provide coverage both linearly and laterally this compound is pretty tacky there's actually eight colorways of the shoe that drop if i can recall correctly this is the only one that actually has a translucent rubber bite seems to be doing pretty pretty good so far. This rubber is fraying and stuff a little bit, so I still want to give it some more time just to see how it holds up through all of that. Now for the cushion, what is used here is what is called Stria Foam. It's an EVA compound. It does feel a little bit denser than uh, some other foams that I've tried out recently. However, I'm really enjoying the stepping comfort, the underfoot comfort of the shoe. Seems like it's a very nice, well blended compound. The shoe provides a lot of court feel, stability as well. Nice balance as far as like smooth transition. All right, y'all. So I wanted to touch on something that I forgot to mention at home. I'm supposed to be shooting B-roll right now, but I just wanted to make sure that I covered it. Stria is using something called forward momentum design or FMD in the shoe. Basically, um, just like a lot of shoes in the forefoot, it has that curvature that kind of curves upward to aid with transition. But if you notice back here on the hill, it is uh, quite a steep slope. Basically what that's meant for is if you're a shooter, you're pulling up on a fast break or shot, you kind of have that area to break there and then you can step into your shot. Or if you're doing something like a hesitation or something, you still have that area for the break, but then you can snap back into your forward motion with the shoe. So I just wanted to make sure that I covered that. That is something that I meant to cover at home, but I didn't, so I apologize for that. But hopefully that uh, explained kind of what that does for you. It's just something to help with aiding in the transition and propelling you forward so yeah all right back to the regular schedule program you also have a little bit of impact protection as well once again just one of those things we're just going to keep chugging along with these guys till i feel like it's really a good point to provide a performance review not sure if chris is going to be testing these if he does end up testing them then i'll try to line things up with him so that we can give you multiple perspectives on a performance review but for the time being i'm still going in these guys until i have a final verdict for you all these upper and materials primarily textile it's a mesh throughout you have the skin fuse overlay i believe street is just calling it a wrap but it's basically like a fuse one of the things i really enjoy about this shoe is the overall just on foot comfort of it it's a very cozy shoe it just feels nice man which also leads me to the fit on the shoe most people will be fine true to size with it do have just a tad bit of wiggle room there so i think people will like that and then for people like chris um even myself at times that prefer it to be a little bit closer to the toe i feel like this is a good medium there is a little bit of volume above the toe i will say that just because that mesh just kind of bubbles out a little bit however there's no issues to me as far as containment or anything goes that fuse layer or four foot wrap just kind of keeps everything in place i don't really have any issues with this i love how the shoes fit overall traditional tongue setup it's not a lot of gimmicks or anything with the shoe the idea is just to create a performer something as comfortable as possible and I really have to commend Stria because I feel like they did a good job with what they were trying to accomplish on it. So support on the shoe is also great. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of curves upward on the shoe. And then once you get your foot in the shoe, of course, you know, bear your weight on it. That's going to compress down a little bit. That helps out the traction, but you can also see you have a little bit of an outrigger. So you have support laterally. It actually extends on the uh, lateral side of the heel as well. Got a little bit of outrigger there. You got a nice and wide base. It's not like the widest base ever, but it's also 
a lot more than what a lot of other shoes offer. On the back here towards the heel, you have this external TPU heel counter. This metallic gold finish here is actually another plastic piece as well. And then obviously you can see the clear TPU right there. There's not a lot of sculpting or anything on the inside of the shoe, but like I said, this is just a cozy shoe on foot in my opinion. It's definitely like a breath of fresh air in my opinion. Once you get it out on the court, it's just kind of like, I don't know, like a little subtle like pillow like feel around your foot. And then like I said before, overall, I think Shreya did a wonderful job with these guys. I'm looking forward to playing in them some more and giving you all the performance review with my final thoughts on the shoe. Before I forget to mention, let me go ahead and pull out this uh, insole here. I believe this is an EVA. It reminds me of the foam on this, uh, just a little bit fluffier. I know for sure this is an EVA. I got these off Amazon. Chris actually did a video with the non-full length versions. That's similar to what this feels like. Obviously you have these kind of lines in here to help with the traction, prevent the shoe from sliding around. Nylon strobel, if you can see that, maybe I'll try to bend that towards the light a little bit, maybe not. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up on these guys as far as just some quick initial impressions, I guess. Once again, these are called the Street Sport 107 series. Retail price is $120. Again, you have eight different colorways. So hopefully we'll have some kind of graphics somewhere at some point in the video when we're talking about the colorways so that you can actually see these. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you to Street Sport for sending these out. Wait, wait, before we end the video off, got a question for you guys. Y'all like that Kobe ball? Quick story time about that ball. One day I'm walking into Dick's Sporting Goods to try on the Lakers LeBron 18. And I'm walking past the basketball section up towards the front of the store. I see one of these guys sitting all the way on the top shelf out of reach. I'm like, hmm. That's pretty cool, but I'm thinking it's Kobe, it's on the top shelf. Thing is probably way more expensive than I need to be spending my money on. So I go on, try on the Lakers LeBron 18. I did end up purchasing those, by the way. Check out the full team written review on that if you haven't already, along with Chris's performance review here on YouTube. But yeah, it went about my business. Funny enough, the next morning, one of our Discord members, I'm from Albany, who also hosts a dope podcast called Let's Ask an Expert. Chris was actually featured in one of those episodes, by the way. But the next day, he ends up posting a link to these, and it was actually actually just coming soon. So I'm like, yo, I just walked by those yesterday. They are dope. I didn't realize that they weren't supposed to be out yet. I see the price on them and I'm like, these things aren't expensive at all. So I took my behind back to book Dick Sporting Goods, say, yo, see those balls up there? Matter of fact, give me two. I'm walking out with a set today. Alrighty then. But yeah, I actually picked up an extra one with the intention of sending to my guy from Albany. See what I did there? Told him, yo, don't purchase it yet. I'm going to send you one. And he actually gracefully declined. He's like, yo, I definitely appreciate the thought, but you know what? Maybe you should send it to someone that might appreciate it even more. So finally just decided, now that I'm back making videos again, that I'll go ahead and give one of these away to another Discord member. We will post your name somewhere, one of these sides up here, and you will be getting one of these guys. I know it's not the most lavish or expensive gift out out there but I do hope that you appreciate it with Kobe's name being on it I figured you know once people started catching on the things were probably gonna sell out quick so I just wanted to grab one for someone else and you know hopefully you enjoy it if it's not for you then hopefully you do know someone that is a big Kobe fan that might appreciate it as a I don't know a late Christmas gift or anything I apologize I won't be able to get it out to you in time for Christmas probably but like I said man hopefully you enjoy it or you find someone that definitely will enjoy it so thank you guys so much for your support over in the wear testers discord community thank you all for watching here tuning into the videos that supports us as well and with all that being said we can go ahead and end the video now as I always like to say love one another take care of one another peace love leak